Her bosses at the Pinellas Transit Authority tell us that Zelda Robinson is a veteran driver with a good performance record. So what happened on Friday when she sent out for dinner and ate it in the middle of a bus run, a run that was already running late? We sent investigative reporter Mark Douglas to find out. The number 15 to Williams Park was already late when it pulled into St. Pete's Grand Central Station with Zelda Robinson behind the wheel. No big deal for passengers until Robinson sends a friend out for some Popeye's chicken. Three and a half minutes pass while Robinson waits for her chicken and passengers wait for their ride. The friend returns. Now it's chat and chew time. More time passes before Robinson finally checks her schedule, puts away her chicken, and resumes her route 10 minutes behind schedule. What should folks at home think when they watch this video and see the bus driver sending out for chicken and eating it while that bus is late? Well, as I mentioned earlier, she was under the impression she misread the schedule. It was unfamiliar to her on this particular route. She thought she had a break. And here's a shocker. The union leader tells me drivers don't get lunch breaks. Well, that's just the way the system works. That's the way, the, that's the way that we actually, actually operate. This passenger isn't surprised at all about all of this. He saw it the day before involving a different driver. She just pulled over and said, I'm taking a break. She sent one of the guys in to get her order. I said, hey, you mind if I go in? PSTA spokesman Bob Lasher tells me record high ridership is eating up extra time between routes. He insists drivers aren't insensitive. They're just overworked. And if voters approve the green light Pinellas sales tax in November, Lasher says that will change. It'll make it easier to have them always on time and more breaks for our drivers. Boy, talk about turning lemons into lemonade. PSTA is now using this embarrassing moment, if you will, as a sales pitch for Greenlight Pinellas, a way to convince voters they need to spend more money on the transit system so this sort of thing won't happen again. Keith? Well, Mark, did anything happen to this driver? She has been talked to. I understand she feels very badly about this, unlikely to do something like this again. She has a great record. By the way, it turns out that this is not against policy, that any driver can send anyone out for food anytime. That didn't violate the rules. It's the late part that has people uh, troubled here. Yeah, we were talking a little bit about that yesterday, that I really don't get breaks. So this was her opportunity to grab a meal, too, I suppose. Yeah, Absolutely. All right, thank you, Mark.